Howdy folks, in uh, this video we are going to be looking at the solutions to the college prep pendulum practice problems. Let's take a look at our first problem. A simple pendulum with a length of 2.0 meters oscillates on the Earth's surface. What is the period of oscillations? So I'm given the, the length of the pendulum at 2.0 meters. I know my gravitational acceleration is 9.80 meters per second squared because it tells me that I am on the Earth's surface. And remember that the um, pendulum is always going to be on the Earth unless I specify otherwise. And we are being asked to find the period of the pendulum. So I know my formula to find the period of a pendulum is t equals 2 pi times the square root of L over G. In this case, I'm solving for the period, so I don't need to rearrange the formula. I just need to plug in my known values. So when I plug in the length of the pendulum of 2 meters and my gravitational acceleration, I do out the math. I'm going to have a period for this pendulum of 2.8 seconds. Problem two, what is the length of a simple pendulum oscillating on Earth with a period of 0.5 seconds? In this problem, we are given the period of 0.5 seconds. Again, we're on the Earth, so I know my gravitational acceleration is 9.80 meters per second squared, and we are being asked to solve for the length. Using my pendulum formula, t equals 2 pi times the square root of L over G. I want to solve this equation for the length. Remember that my length is inside the radical. So the first thing that I'm going to need to do is to remove the radical to get it out of the radical there. Best way to do that is just to square everything. So remember when we square everything, we have to do everything in the problem. When I do that, I'm going to end up with t squared. When I square 2 pi, I'm going to end up with 4 pi squared. Remember, we have to square the 2 and we have to square the pi. One mistake that a lot of people make in these problems when they do this is when they square 2 pi, they write 2 pi squared. They don't square the 2, they leave that step out. So make sure that you do that and you end up with 4 pi squared. And then when I square this, it simply makes the radical go away. So when I solve for the length, I am going to have the length is equal to t squared times g divided by 4 pi squared. I'm going to plug in my known values into that equation, and when I do that, I'm going to have a length of this pendulum of 0 0.06 meters. Problem 3. A simple pendulum with a length of 2.6 meters oscillates on the Earth's surface. What is the frequency of oscillations? So we are given the length of the pendulum, once again, is 2.6 meters. The gravitational acceleration, because again, we're on the Earth, is 9.80 meters per second squared. And in this case, we're being asked to find the frequency. Well, I know I can't get the frequency from the pendulum equation, but I can get the period. And I know that the period and frequency are related to one another. So if I can get the period of the pendulum, I can use that to find the frequency. So let's find our period first. We know that the period is equal to 2 pi times the square root of L over G. Plug in my values for the length and gravitational acceleration into to that formula, and I'm going to have a period of 3.24 seconds. I know that the frequency is the reciprocal of the period, so 1 divided by 3.24 seconds is going to give me a frequency of 0 0.31 hertz. Problem 4. A simple pendulum with a length of 1.8 meters oscillates on the moon's surface where acceleration due to gravity is 1.7 meters per second squared. What is the frequency of oscillations? So this problem is going to be solved the exact same way as the previous problem. The only difference is now that we've moved our pendulum to the moon. And if you're going to go to the moon, of course you're going to bring your pendulum, right? Why wouldn't you? I don't know, folks. I just write this stuff. All right, we are given the length of the pendulum of 1.8 meters. 
I know my gravitational acceleration on the moon is 1.7 meters per second squared. And once again, I'm being asked to find the frequency. So I need to find the period in order to find the frequency. So to find the period, I use the pendulum formula. Plug my known values for length and gravitational acceleration into that. And I'm going to have a period of 6.47 seconds. I know that the frequency is going to be the reciprocal of the period. 1 divided by 6.47 seconds is going to equal 0 0.15 hertz. Problem 5. A 3.40 meter long simple pendulum oscillates with a period of 2.40 seconds on the surface of an unknown planet. What is the surface gravity of the planet? So we are given the length of this alien pendulum, 3.4 meters. The period of this pendulum is 2.4 seconds. By the way, like aliens are going to use meters. I'm sure they're going to have some other unit of measurement that they use. But, um, but hey, work with me here, people. Work with me. And we want to know what the gravitational acceleration on this planet is. So again, we're going to start with our pendulum formula, T equals 2 pi times the square root of L over G. In this case, we are solving for G, which is inside of our radical. So we're going to square everything. Again, we'll end up with T squared, 4 pi squared. The radical goes away, so I'm just left with L divided by G. And when I solve that for G, I'm going to have G equals 4 pi squared times L divided by T squared. Plug my values for the length and gravitational acceleration into this formula, and it's going to give me an accel a gravitational acceleration of this planet of 23.3 meters per second squared.